this deadly menace. And so to this end, this is Godzilla history, biology, and behavior of hyper-evolved theropods. Thank you. The first encounter with Godzilla occurred in 1954 on Oto Island, a southern Japanese fishing village. It was at this time that the first serious work on the creature was done by Professor Kyohei Yamane, who theorized the creature was a dinosaur of the Cretaceous era, that it survived in undersea caves until disturbed and mutated by nuclear weapons tests in the Bikini Islands. He named it Gojira after a local Oto Island folk legend of a sea monster, and that name was eventually anglicized to Godzilla, because that is clearly what the Asian people were trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> eventually reached Tokyo, <laughs> who later destroyed the device, its designs, and himself in the process in order to prevent the weapon from ever being misused. Um, in the years since this initial attack, there have been over 23 encounters with at least six different Godzilla creatures, as well as with numerous other Godzilla-class kaiju. Prior to last year's attacks, there had not been a Godzilla sighting since the attempted alien invasion in 2004, which I'm sure you all recall. <laughs> um, some basic characteristics of Godzilla. A fully grown Godzilla can range in height from 50 to 110 meters tall, with the species exhibiting a steady increase in height over the past six decades, with a few deviations in the 1990s. It is, of course, difficult to measure Godzilla's exact height as it tends to slouch. <laughs> and approximate its weight using a simple water displacement and scaling calculation at anywhere from 20,000 to 160,000 tons. Uh, Godzilla can achieve a land speed of at least 122 miles per hour. It's extremely difficult to directly study the anatomy of Godzilla. We can morphologically infer certain details. Based on Professor Yamane's findings, we know that Godzilla is a dinosaur. Um, and we can extrapolate the skeletal structure of the creature by analyzing footage from the 1954 Ishiro Honda documentary. <laughs> and from this, we can safely say that Godzilla is a, <clears throat> sorry, is a carnivore, as it has large pointed teeth and forward-facing eyes, which allow for the stereoscopic vision necessary to catch prey. Uh, more specifically, it's bipedal nature, large, deep head, short neck and body clearly illustrate that it is a form of theropod, a group which includes Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus, and a primitive theropod at that, as it has unusually long arms for a large theropod, and four fingers and toes. Uh, for reasons nobody yet understands, theropods throughout their evolution experience a reduction in the number of their digits and arm length as well, or 